law concerning concealed guns takes effect across Nebraska next month. With that in mind, a member of the Omaha City Council has a serious concern, gun safety. Our 6 News Joe Harris investigates the possible options. Starting September 3rd, people 21 and older will be able to carry a handgun hidden in their clothing or vehicles without having to pay for a concealed carry permit or taking a gun safety course. Signing this bill upholds the promise I made to voters across the state to protect our constitutional rights. Governor Jim Pillen signed it into law in April. When it does go into effect, a federal background check will still be required to buy a gun in Nebraska. But Omaha City Council President Pete Festerson says that isn't enough. As a result of LB 77 passing, uh, we have to repeal about 22 sections of code pertaining to firearms and the transportation of firearms and weapons throughout the city. Those have been helpful tools to us uh, in terms of public safety and fighting crime. He's asking the city law department to see if there are any options the city may be able to adopt for gun safety, like a red flag law or banning assault weapons. What options we can pursue to better address this issue. However, Dick Clark, who is legal counsel for the Government, Military and Veterans Affairs Committee, thinks Festerson might be disappointed in the answer he gets. Essentially, the local governments don't have the authority to regulate to enact ordinances or other policies in that area of policy. They just simply don't have the power to do it. Clark says Nebraska is a Dillon rule state, which means local governments only have the power that the state government has given them and that the new firearms law preempts local regulation of firearms. They do still have the authority to regulate the public discharge of firearms, and they can also uh, regulate buildings and other properties that the city owns and controls. He says anything beyond that would be void. Regardless, Festerson thinks the city law department will have drafts prepared around the time the new law takes effect. On your side, Joe Harris, 6 News. You know, my city council will hold a public hearing on this issue August 29th.